Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, so here we are, we're back. And in the last video what we did was we actually made sure that we could remove some enemy spawners and, and stuff like that. So that's cool. Now we know that that works and that they can spawn. Now we need to kind of organize our enemy, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a little folder here called enemies, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and put enemy, the whole class up there, okay? Now it's going to lag to shits, but I'm still just going to put it up there. And that's the base class. And now I'm going to create a new class actually uh, that will uh, kind of, what do you call it? Inherit from that. So what do we do? We had rat1. We'll just call it rat1. Um, just a, or just a regular rat doesn't matter virtual destructor okay enemy is a base class so I'm just gonna go ahead and create that class for us and once that's done we'll have a simple little class here and then you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna copy the if and define things and put it and just go ahead and put rat there so that everything is organized because obviously sometimes it messes up so rat should be here in the source files let's go up and put it in enemies I don't know how yours is organized but it should be something like this um, and once you do that you just go ahead and take a rat like that rat and if what the hell how is that even possible and if god damn it okay rat h sorry about the sounds okay so once that's done you're good and then obviously we're gonna need the en ebony enemy i can't see my keyboard right now and i'm kind of tired uh so there we go so we're gonna have to open up the enemy class as well just give me a second here and i'm just gonna grab this and grab my little cheat sheet and just see what's going on okay so what we're doing is checking out the enemy constructor so i'm just going to copy this enemy constructor it's a very simple constructor and what it does basically is it um like that and then you just remove this it actually puts the enemy at a position and using a texture sheet so i'm just gonna do that and we're not going to add anything special here right now uh, we do have this whole rat thing an enemy kind of keeps track of everything but remember the C++ rules we need to put everything has to be virtual here now so that we can kind of uh, what do you call it we can override it overshadow it right so that's what we're gonna do so we're just gonna put virtual in the enemy class we're gonna keep everything just like it is here and we're gonna we're gonna we're going to put these as virtual as well in it don't forget those and i'm basically you know what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna copy the whole thing because it's pretty much done anyway i'm just gonna copy the whole thing into rat cpp just go don't override those just yet um the rat thing so i'm just gonna go down to the enemy destructor okay enemy destructor is fine enemy constructor so i'm going to copy all that remove that put that into the rat constructor okay and just go ahead and copy rat all this stuff down to where it should be which is down here and now obviously it's going to complain because we haven't done this yet and we're going to get to that we have to kind of make uh, prototypes for those so but first of all I'm just gonna do this okay now we got to do this one at a time so I'm gonna put rat here on this side and I'm gonna start off with this one so it's very simple so it's gonna be a private void init variables simple simple 
and then we're going to go ahead and do init animations as well okay once that's done we can do whoopsie daisy what did i do okay we're good um functions functions please please oh my god okay there you go <laughs> sorry about that um once that's done go ahead and grab this put that right there remove the rat part put a semicolon you know the deal you know the protocol you know what we got to do i'm going to copy this as well i think i forgot the v there yes i did just put that there and do this i know this might be a little pain to do trivial and tedious but it's got to be done and then we need to put in the render part as well so just grab that put that right there do a semicolon right there while you're still st still at the end uh, so just do that void so there you go now you basically have a rat.h file which is working and a rat that is working so now what I want to do is I actually want to remove all of this from enemy and I want to make sure enemy is nothing you can create on the on your own all right so I'm not going to I'm not going to let that happen um I'm not going to let that happen actually Let's see, what does enemy even have that is a private variable? It doesn't have anything just yet, so this isn't really required just yet. So I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm so dumb. I'm dumb. Why did I have all this crap? Init variables and animations. This might not be 100% required, but that is. So what I'm going to do, is just remove this. Keep this as a equal to zero. So now we're in the H file. Now we're just going to do equal to zero on all of these. So it's going to actually become a pure virtual class here. And this might not work just in this video, but but it will eventually. Enemy. Okay, I'm just going to keep those as they are. And might just so you know what? I'll just do that because then they will make sure that it exists in rat. Now rat's going to complain about something down here yeah this is what it's complaining about so we don't need that since we have all our stuff anyway um, once we get the enemy spawners to work here we're just gonna go ahead and and have that work we might have enemies in enemy spawners and not the other way around so yeah probably what we'll do and an enemy itself doesn't have to care about the enemy spawner hmm Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to think about that a little bit because I know an enemy spawner is going to Yeah, there's two ways you can do this. Look, let me tell you this. All right, you can have an enemy spawner in game and have an, have an array of enemies which are spawned and active and they all have a reference to their own enemy spawner and they can go back to their enemy spawner and everything and then enemy spawner won't really care about uh, what enemy it is it will just spawn enemies depending on type and stuff like that but i think it'll still be the better the other way around so we, yeah we'll look into that i'll keep this here for now uh but at least we have rat here and then we need to just run this once to get all the errors so we know what to fix am i even recording yeah okay all right so there we go all our error error, error list so let's just go ahead and there we go all right All right, and we need to include rat actually is game state right game state dot h game state dot h okay so before we do that let's just add something in here let's add a new item in enemies in this folder called enemies enemies include something like that enemies include something like that uh, we'll have a format for this later. If and def enemies include h define 
these include h and if and then like that. It's the format we use. Okay. So now whatever happens in here, we're going to include stuff. So include Okay, include um, rat.h, something like that, and that's pretty pretty okay. And then I think enemy will be included with a rat anyway, so it's all good. Uh, so once that's done, we have that. Um, game state.h, let's just go to game state.h, should be under states, game state.h, include uh and um, no enemy include dot h so once you do that in game state let's run this there's gonna be more problems so let's just go in here enemy cannot okay so good uh rat good 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 all right takes three arguments okay we're good oh okay no real errors here I thought there'd be more but all right new game and we'll we'll see our rats okay so we created a rat and a rat here and a rat here good very nice very nice okay so there we go now that's done now we can actually create our rat um, and yeah, now next video will probably fix all the saving and loading to enemy spawners so we can actually save enemy spawners and load them. Um, should be okay. Probably there's already functionality for that, but I'll look into it. Uh, anyway, so once this is done, yeah, we can add more, more enemies and stuff like that. So hopefully that's cool. Hopefully you learned something, how we kind of divide all this up. Getting to a bunch of files now, but... Yeah, that's how it is with games. Um, yeah, soon we'll have enemies spawning and then we'll keep working basically. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me and all the support. Hopefully everything's going well for you, uh, you guys. So just take care and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.